Hey guys and welcome back to Life is Strange. Today we have the finale of this story, episode 5, Polarized. Now let's jump straight in and see what's going on. Right, this should be fun. After the events of last episode where Chloe got shot in the head by Mr. Jefferson. And Max got taken away. So yeah, I have been looking forward to this for quite a while now. Oh, nice equipment. Okay, so this is looking kind of grim. There's movement. I think I'm still alive. Well, of course I'm going to be still alive. It'd be a really... Oh, dear. Yeah. Uh, I'm in a pretty hairy situation. Hey, Max. Wakey, wakey. Come on, girl. Rise and shine. Oh, I can move a little bit. Hey, and we're awake. Chloe? What? Where? It's a dark room. Oh, Victoria's here. Okay. Is anybody out there? Please help. There's Victoria. Uh, yeah. Oh shit. Jefferson kidnapped Victoria too. This is so bad. Speak. Victoria. Wake up. Wake up. <laughs> Okay, that's not working. Uh, left hand. It's detach? What's that? Help! Okay. Somebody help right me. hand. <clears throat> not doing particularly well. <laughs> These straps are hurt. Uh, what about that? <sighs> hey, we've got leg free. Right. What can we do with the leg? Finally. What about? I'm what about? Free. Oh, Almost. Uh, ah. Pull. Hey, we're doing so quite well. Ah, what do we have here? I hate looking at myself like that. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. Uh, look. God, I don't remember anything that happened. Okay. This must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. Right. What? What? I don't, wait. Left mouse spoke button. Focus on the photo. I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. Okay. Uh, use the and keys. Left mouse button. Ooh, I uh, think there. Uh, oh. oh, there we go. This angle. Hey, how's it going, Jefferson? You creepy bastard. The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh Christ! Look at that perfect face. Hold that stair there! Oh. Stay still! 
Ho ho, Mr. Angry. Your demeanor has totally changed. Oh, Max! You fucked up my shot! But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now, I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Wait. Let me try this angle. Don't move! I can't actually move around in this. Uh, much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan feel could helpless. see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows and an eye for a whole lot more. As his elite family will find out. Along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Oh, good. Oh, those eyes. That is creepy as hell. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe, right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed... that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you Another dose? No. <laughs> Now don't move, or this will hurt much. Stupid bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. Remember my number one rule. Always take the shot. This guy is seriously fucked up. Oh, don't look happy there. I think we're ruining his photos. that happened so sick okay <laughs> right let's have a look around uh look whoa I i'm definitely more awake in this photo i could try this one uh, quick. Oh, this might work. Please work. Uh, no, no. And focus. Here we go. Oh. 
I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you. Your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here. Replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Oh, Max. I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura. And those lucky few become my models. My subjects. Yes. You're a psychopath. And this is your last session. Au contraire, Max. I'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now. As you can see, Sleeping Beauty here is too harsh for my gentle lens. And don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. Jesus. You killed Chloe. You murdered my best friend. She had a loaded weapon. This was clearly self-defense, but that's what happens when you play with guns. Or try to fuck with me. It's better when they don't know. Like pure, sweet Kate. Um. Kate believed, and she survived. You failed to break her. She's stronger than ever, and she'll outlive you. She'll certainly outlive you. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'll pay Kate a visit soon and test her faith again. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. Unbelievable. You used Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated. Like with an image. Nathan's was easy to twist around. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious darkroom and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Why, Rachel? I don't have time to tell you everything. But she was special. A human chameleon, so many visual possibilities. We had a real connection. What the hell? Did she let you take pictures of her? Rachel was in love with me. That's not my ego. Just look at our sessions. Not that I'll let you. Nobody loved having their picture taken more. Anyway, Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You're good because you stopped your friend from beating Nathan up. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege Holy for crap, much longer. Kill. 
killed now the Nathan? Police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here. By your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Now, let's see how um... the shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. Okay, so we got... Um... Oh, journal, look. Sorry. This is not... I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a Okay, and how the hell am I gonna get there? Huh? 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 Max. I wish you could see yourself now. I have all those photos in my diary. Oh, okay. This could be a way Right, all the way... Back! Okay. Now, let's see how these shut. Wait! Please, uh, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures. Especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. My diary. You... you still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. Uh, can I have me. one last look? There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. Uh, that's gonna have to do. Right. We're going into another one. And... There we go. Jesus, we are... I could totally frame anyone anyone in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. Right back where I started this insane week. And nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever the again. The portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, hmm. I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max... Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Uh... Jing. The Daguerrean process. Oh. Well, that was easy, Max. Was it? Okay. Well, uh... Okay, then. So, uh... The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Obviously, Max has read them. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday time Heroes Time to change time. The winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the First, artwork. let's make it real easy to capture Mark okay. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. Okay, so... I have to warn David about Jefferson and the darkroom. Um... 
even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, can I everybody in class. All I need is David's number, and Jefferson is one text closer to life without parole. Um. Search me back. I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Okay. Mark Jefferson. Hey, David Madsen. Five 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 six thirty eight two four three. Boom. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. And take Jefferson down fast. I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is not for everybody. I have my moment in the camera. Everybody should have a chance. I only want to share what you wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be that easy. Whoops. The past within the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? It could well be. It doesn't matter what happens to me. I'm happy to fix it, so you'll be here to get your fancy camera, Victoria. Uh, okay. Well, search. Victoria, it's nice to know how you really feel. Um... Right. Oh, Kate. Hi, Kate. Come for Kate. Hi, Kate. Oh, hey, Max. Kate, listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, that makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. I, I don't know what to say. That's okay. Neither do I. Maybe we could both use <laughs> a hug. Oh, that's sweet. Thanks. You always know the right thing to do. This to be hoped so. Okay, etched marks. Oh, Rachel. I'm sorry. Anything else? Anything else I can mess around with? Uh. Okay, photo. Mr. Jefferson? We need to talk. Uh. Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? Yes, I see. But maybe you shouldn't. Uh, and why not? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? I will be when Victoria understands that hiding behind a screen, posting videos of people is incredibly cruel and unfair. You're smart enough to know how easy it is to hurt somebody, to destroy their life. I just want you to think about how much it would hurt if somebody did that to you. You can always make the right choice, Victoria. I know you've got a good heart. I've seen it. Listen, I, I didn't- You don't have to explain. There's no reason for you to be so insecure that you can't be happy with your own talent. Wouldn't it be better to lift people up than to bring them down? You could inspire people. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about now, do I, Mr. Jefferson? I think I should stay out of this one, Victoria. Then I guess I'm done talking. And that's okay, too. That was kind of random, Max. What did you mean? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh, that was easy. No, it wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh, I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me and Blackwell. The, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be innocent. Or guilty. Ah. Uh, well, and thanks for the photo and 
Maybe both of us will be jet-setting to San Francisco this Friday. Or maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Whoa Jefferson. Whoa, whoa. Max is getting all threatening. <laughs> Uh, what changed there? Holy crap! Holy crap, they got Jefferson? And they found Rachel's body. And Max won. And Chloe's alive. Wait, that seemed a little bit... That can't... No, this can't be the... What? Seriously? Half an hour? Up to this point? No way. There's got to be more to it than this. Wait. What? Whoa. Well, hey, we're on a plane. Okay. You're okay, Max. You're safe. I'm on a plane. I hope I did everything right this time. Good work, David. Chloe. Oh, you're alive. Oh, you're alive. <laughs> What about the storm? Uh, oh wait, hang on a minute, we're still... We're... St Be careful. Yeah. I'm still between realities. And I can't focus on this one ah, for too okay. long. Wait to land in Frisco. We're almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited too. Aw, I haven't seen Hot Dog Man in forever. Chloe and I used to totally play the video game and watch him all the time. <laughs> when we were innocent. Right, what else do we have? Uh, look out the window. How the hell am I supposed to figure that it's out? It's so weird to be in between realities. Everything is out of focus and in the distance. Hmm. Um. Oh, what do we have here? Look. I have to admit, I love being called an artist. All right, let's have a look at the newspaper. Can we look at it? The beginning of the end for Jefferson and. Ah, oh, we can. Cool. To Moon Diner, amid all the environmental chaos in Arcadia Bay, such as the unseasonable snowfall and beached whales, some residents reported seeing two full moons last night around 8pm. Witnesses claimed the double moons were clear in the night sky until clouds covered them up shortly after they appeared. No cell phone or video footage has surfaced yet, which has led local meteorologists to believe that imaginations are in overdrive due to the recent eco-havoc. Uh, Blackwell Security uncovers Bunker and Scandal. Acting on a series of tips from David Madsen, head of security at Blackwell Academy, police officers descended Tuesday on a bizarre underground chamber allegedly used by teacher Mark Jefferson and student Nathan Prestock to drug, kidnap and photograph young women. Although there, although there were no other signs of physical or sexual assault on the victim, the disturbing revelations have sent shockwaves through the tranquil city of Arcadia Bay. Even Sean Prescott, the most powerful businessman in the area, is under investigation for his role as owner of the farmhouse where the high-tech darkroom studio was located. 
Continue on the next page. Oh, I can I not? Oh, that's a shame. I want to read more. Please fasten your seat and stow any electronic gear until the plane is on the ground and at the gate. Thank you. We're starting our descent in a few minutes. It's a beautiful day in San Francisco with clear skies and cool 60 degrees. We hope you enjoyed your trip and we thank you very much for choosing Pacific West Air. Come fly with us anytime. Uh, I don't think so. I'm hoping these airline seats get smaller so I won't have to fly at all anymore. How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Just a bit. It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling <laughs> me to stop whining. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guide you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. Christ, another nosebleed? Max, you're not just screwing around yeah. with time. It's not looking good for her. Oh, cool. So, where are we now? Oh, we're actually at the gallery. Excellent. I like them lights. San Francisco is so cool, and this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I, I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max. After this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm going to eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. Wow, sir, Max. You did it. Somehow. I went from the dark room to this gallery. I've been through so many realities in one week. Life is weird. You could say it's strange. Anyway, that's all I'm going to do for this part. Things have definitely taken a turn for the better. Uh, yeah, we're going to have a look around here in the next episode. But until then, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I shall see you next time. So, take care.